Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are talking current favorites, all the products that I've been loving for the month of October and November. Crazy to think that my next favorites video is gonna be in January 2021 when I do my yearly favorites, so that's gonna be a good video. It's gonna be very long, but today we're talking current favorites. So I have a couple makeup items. I just did a full face using some of my current drugstore favorites, so I don't have a ton of makeup items in here. So if you wanna see more affordable drugstore options that I've been loving, check out that video. I'm not really featuring too many repeats from that video in today's video, because again, I already like showed them, but I do have one product in here that I had to mention again, because it's literally been like my ride or die. But I do have a couple extra makeup things that I didn't talk about in that video, and also some other random things that I've been incorporating in my beauty routine that I'm super excited about. A lot of the stuff in today's video is also affordable, so we love that. And yeah, that's it. I don't really have many updates for you guys, but I am doing Vlogmas, so if you are into vlogs, lifestyle content, definitely check out my vlog channel. It is just Juicy Jazz Vlogs. I'm vlogging every single day up until Christmas, so I'm also gonna be doing giveaways on that channel, makeup and cash. Oh my gosh, Bernard, he just walked in the room and he scared me. Hi, baby. Hi, Bernard. So, what was I saying? Okay, I am gonna be doing giveaways on that channel as well, cash and makeup, so make sure you subscribe and tune in for a new vlog every single day. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's just get into it, because you guys know I talk a lot, so grab a snack and let's talk current favorites. So this is a repeat product that I wanted to mention because it's so good. I'm not gonna really go too into depth, I'm just gonna give you a quick little speed review, because I did show this in my recent current drugstore favorites video. So this is the Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Foundation. I'm wearing it today. Basically, this is like your skin, but better. It enhances your natural skin in the best way possible, makes it look really healthy and fresh. Doesn't have a ton of coverage, which normally I'm not into, but I feel like the coverage is perfect for what it is and for every day. So I agree with the serum foundation aspect of it. It's gonna be basically like a tinted moisturizer or like a BB cream, but with a little bit better coverage. The coverage is light to buildable. You can build it up to be like a natural medium coverage, which I think is very pretty for every day. I love it with natural makeup as well as more glam look. And this has been my ride or die go-to foundation. I have a new powder that I'm loving and actually a lot of the products in today's video are because of your recommendations. I've been doing a lot of like testing your favorite products videos in within the past couple of months and thank you guys so much for putting me on to amazing products. You guys know me so well. So this is per a couple of your recommendations and I love it. It's the Kim Chi Chic Puff Puff Pass Powder. I have mine in the shade Translucent. I love this brand. It's vegan, cruelty free. The packaging is super cute and they have so much variety on their website. I would say it's kind of like a mid-price brand. So this stuff's not like super, super affordable like a drugstore, like e.l.f., you know, but it's also not very expensive like Charlotte Tilbury or like something from Sephora. I feel like it's kind of like mid-price. I think this was like 20 or $22. So yeah, a little bit more pricey, but if we're talking like drugstore versus Sephora, I feel like it's right in the middle. So if I could define this powder, this is like a great natural invisible setting powder. When you apply it, it doesn't even look like you have powder on. It is so seamless. I love it for my under eyes. I love it for all over my face. It's very lightweight. The finish is natural. It doesn't have like a matte finish or a glowy finish. It's really just like a universal neutral powder that I feel like anybody could use. And I feel like it just sets the makeup beautifully, makes everything last all day. And I just love the finish and the formula of it. It's really nice. I love just how neutral it is. So it doesn't alter your foundation or concealer or anything. It's just going to set your makeup in the best way possible. And I can't get enough. This has been like my go-to. I love it. Let's talk about eyeliners. So I have the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. I I didn't really think anything of this when I was first testing this out. I was like, eh, it's gonna be a regular liquid liner, but no, this is so good and it's $3 at Ulta. This is not only so amazing and so easy to work with, normally I feel like felt tips are a little bit easier to work with, but this is actually amazing and it's so black. It's actually insane. Look at that, that's just one stripe on my hand and doing wings with this is so effortlessly easy, you guys. And sometimes I struggle with my winged liner, like it takes me a little bit, but with this, I feel like I could do it like bam, bam, and I'm good to go. And I agree with the super precise aspect of this because I feel like the tip of it is like so tiny and pointy that you can get really sharp black wings in like a minute. It's amazing. Speaking of eyes, I wanted to shout out some lashes that I have been loving. So this is a newer brand for me as far as lashes. I have used a couple products from this brand and I really like it. It's a Latina owned beauty brand, which makes me very happy to support. These are the Beauty Creations 3D Foam Ink Lashes. They have a huge variety on the website. I just have a couple of them. 
them. I'm actually planning on placing another order because I'm so happy with my purchase, but I'm wearing the style today. What style am I wearing? I have them here classified. So they're very fluffy, very full. These are a little bit more on the dramatic side, definitely not like lash extension lashes. I feel like they're great for glam, smoky eyes, more like dramatic looks, but they're very wearable. They're easy to apply and they're not overly dramatic to the point like when you're looking down, they don't look like super like overly fake like Halloween lashes, which I am a big fan of. So I have here the style BB Alert, which is a very pretty like kind of tapered wispy lash. And then I also have the style Confidential here. And these are a little bit shorter, but they're more voluminous. These have been like my go-to lashes whenever I'm doing something more dramatic like today. And I can't feel them on my eyes, even though they're a little bit more fluffy and full than like your traditional kind of like natural lash. They're so lightweight. Like I literally don't feel them on my eyes right now. So I really like these. And I don't think I told you guys, but they're under $10 and you can reuse them. So go get them. <laughs> so I have some lip products here, of course. Surprise, surprise. So I feel like in every favorites video, I'm always talking about a new NYX lip liner because they are just that good. And they're four bucks and they have like a million different colors. The newest color that I love is in the shade Natural. So this is like their regular wooden lip pencils. These are the $4 ones. I think these are the cheapest ones that they have, but the shade Natural, speaking of like your skin, but better, these are like gonna make your lips look like your lips, but better. This is like an actual lip shade, like this is like my lip color, but a little bit more enhanced. And I love it because I feel like it makes your lips so pouty and just enhanced in the best way possible. It's so pretty. And then usually I'll top this off with a gloss. And another gloss that I've been loving is the Tower 28 gloss in the shade Almond. So this is kind of like a Fenty gloss bomb, like the formula of it, but it's a little bit more milky and a little bit more pigmented. So look at this creamy, milky, scrumptious shade. I love it because it's the most wearable brown. Look at that color. Color. Like such a wearable brown. I used to hate brown lip colors on me, but now I'm loving them. And I feel like you have to find the right kind of formula, the right kind of shade of brown, and this is it. And I feel like this will look good on everybody. Literally, this is like a universal almond shade because the formula, the color is perfect. The pigmentation is on point. It has just the right amount of everything, and I love it. I'm wearing it today, and I love this formula. And then the lipsticks that I've been loving are from Oma Beauty. My go-to color is in the shade Eartha. I actually really like that color or that name. <laughs> Eartha is just beautiful. Eartha is like that classic nude, has a little bit of like a beige, a little bit of a pink mauve kind of undertone, but it's not too pink. I wear this on its own a lot because it's so comfortable. This is just so good. I love it. And the color is just everything. I feel like this looks good with like any smoky eye, any lashes, any type of makeup look that you're doing. This has been like my classic go-to shade since like October. So I've had it for a while. I use it basically every time I do my makeup and I still have a lot of product left. So it's a little bit pricey, but the formula is on point and I feel like it lasts a long time. Another color that I love is in the shade Sade. And this I actually got in a lip kit form and you can get the lip kits on Ulta's website. I feel like they would make for a great stocking stuffer. This is what the color looks like. So it's like a bright cherry red. It's beautiful, you guys, and it makes your teeth like super white, which who doesn't like that? Ugh, the formula is great because again, it's like kind of matte, but it's not drying at all. And then the lip liner obviously goes with it. And this is like a wooden lip pencil, but it's great with the lipstick. I really, really like them together. And in the lip kits, they have other colors as well. They have, I believe, the shade Eartha that I just mentioned. And then they also have some different like brown shades, different, just a bunch of different colors. Check out Ulta's website to see all the different varieties that they have but this this is everything. And I believe this is the last makeup item that I wanted to shout out. It's the e.l.f. CBD Lip Oil. I did talk about this in my current drugstore favorites video, but I wanted to mention it again because I recently just had a little issue with another lip mask that I used and I realized I need to just stick to what I know and what I love. This doesn't say it's a lip treatment, but it kind of feels like it. So it's like a vanilla mint lip oil, but it's not sticky. It's super creamy. It's hydrating. It almost feels like it's like medicated. Like it's very, very nice on the lips. I love it before makeup and before bed and pretty much all throughout the day. And it's a little bit pricier. I think this is like 12 or $13, but I think it's worth it because I've had this for a few months, I think. I don't remember exactly when I started using it, but it's been a while. I use it like basically every single day and I lather my lips in it. You guys know I'm heavy handed and I still have a lot of product left. I just actually ordered a backup because I love it that much. But a few days ago, like three days ago, I used a new lip mask before bed and then I used it in the morning because I liked the way that it felt on my lips. And then throughout the day, my lips were so itchy, you guys. I was like, what is happening? 
happening. I was like, it has to be that lip mask that I used because I didn't really switch up anything else with my lips. And they were so itchy and red, it created these like dry patches around my mouth, like the corners of my mouth, which tends to happen around this time of year. But I knew that it was because of that because my lips were itchy as I had it on the next morning. So I knew it was because of the lip mask and now I know better not to try out new lip masks anymore. I'm like terrified of it because I don't want to experience that again because now the corners of my mouth are really dry and it takes forever for them to completely go down and go away. But this saved me because it was really bad a few days ago and now you can still see like the dryness around like the corners of my mouth, but it's not as bad as what it was. And it's because of this. I love it. Elf lip balms, elf CBD lip oil. It's the best. You can get it at Ulta. I'm not sure if you can get it in stores. I just ordered mine online, but it's essential, especially for this time of year winter time. I know technically it's still fall, but I feel like once December is here in my mind is basically winter. Now we're going to jump into some skincare and just some random things. So I wanted to shout out my elf moisturizers that I've been loving. So I started watching skincare by Hiram, I think a few months ago. And since we're talking about favorites, he is definitely a current cult favorite YouTuber. I've been like religiously watching all of his videos, learning so much about skincare and he's the best. Anyways, I'm sure all of you guys know who he is. He's amazing. And I've pretty much switched up my entire skincare routine because of his videos and I've incorporated these two religiously into my skincare routine and these are the best moisturizers. So I've actually already been loving this one for forever and but I started using it more consistently and then when I started watching his videos I was like okay yay I'm doing something right. These two moisturizers I had to mention them you guys because they saved my skin especially this one right here. So this is the elf super hydrate moisturizer with hydrating squalene. Oh my goodness I have loved this for forever but I didn't realize how amazing this was until my skin started flaking on me. I don't know really what caused it, but I know that I was using a different moisturizer from Tatcha thinking that it would help because I've always got the impression that if a product, a skincare product is more expensive, it might work a little bit better. And that is not the case. That made my skin worse. I'm telling you, I would put on my makeup and it would flake. Like I would go like this and my makeup would flake off of my face. And I was like, Mm. I started using this then religiously morning and night and after a few days my skin was back to normal literally transformed it And now I don't have dry flaky skin anymore and it's basically like a jelly like Moisturizer I know it's kind of hard to tell but I've been using this up a ton I love this in the morning and at night I was using it at one point But now I only use it in the morning and I use a like thicker face cream at night because I want something a little bit thicker A little bit more hydrating and it's also from elf. This is so so good you guys and it's like $12 I just ordered a backup also on Ulta's website because I love it that much and I can't say enough good things about it. I feel like this is just a great moisturizer for every single day before makeup. It doesn't weigh down your skin. It melts into the skin really nicely and I love putting this in my skincare fridge because like the texture of it feels really good when it's cold on the face and then the e.l.f. Happy Hydration Cream is perfect before bed as a nighttime moisturizer and again it's so affordable. This is very thick and creamy but it's not greasy but it's still hydrates your skin. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. I know it's kind of hard to tell because it's like white. There we go. But it's just really creamy. And what I like about this is that most creams like this on the face, they don't absorb very well. Like they take forever for you to like blend them in and for them to actually sink into the skin. But this, it happens instantly. So these two I feel like are all that I ever will need in a moisturizer and I'll be good. Elf has really great moisturizers in general. I also love their Holy Hydration Cream. They have a fragrance-free version and both of these are fragrance-free also, by the way. So, so good. So I feel like I could just use these for the rest of my life and be totally happy. Woo, that was a lot. I am like very passionate about those moisturizers. Okay, let's talk about a hair product. I have the Heritage by Mindy McKnight Leave-In Conditioner. So it says it restores, softens, and detangles hair while fighting frizz. I agree. So this brand you can get at Walmart. It is very affordable. It's like everything is like $10 and it's sulfate free, paraben free, gluten free, mineral oil free, color free, <laughs> cruelty free, and vegan. Such a great brand. I have talked about it before. I love their products, their shampoos, conditioners, leave-in treatments. Argan oil is amazing and the leave-in conditioner is so good. So when I get out of the shower, my hair is wet, of course, and then I will just spray this all over and I feel like I can spray a lot and it doesn't weigh down my hair or make it super oily the next day. I will brush through it and I love how it's like a leave-in conditioner and a detangler all in one. It smells really good and I feel like my hair is so fluffy and soft. There's just something about this that I love the way my hair looks the next day. So I think if you're gonna be styling your hair the next day, this is a great product to use the night before. I really agree with the claim that it says light as a feather like it really is. So these past couple weeks have been like trial and errors for me and my skin and products that I've been using. So I recently this past week used a very horrible stripping body wash. I thought it was gonna be good and I normally don't really switch up my body washes too much because I kind of, again, 
again, just know what works with my skin. But it smelled really good. It said it was vegan, cruelty free. I used it and it stripped my oils so bad. My skin was so dry. Like I would touch it and it felt like alligator skin. Like it was very dry. I went to Target yesterday and I just stocked up on my favorite body wash. If I'm not using the Method body wash, which I think you can also get this at Walmart. I'm usually using the Ren Pure body wash, which you can also get that one at Walmart. I think I like the scents of these a little bit more though, the Method ones, because there's just something about them that I love. I've already gone through one of these and I also went through the Peony scent, which smells really good. It's a great like floral summer scent, but I wanted something that was a little bit more nourishing now since my skin again has been so stripped and dry. So I was like, you know what? From now on, I am sticking to what I know with body washes, Ren Pure and Method. They're the only two that I feel like actually work. Yeah, this one is incredible. It smells really good. They have a bunch of other scents as well, but I really like this one the best. And then I also really like the Stay Hydrated one. So, so good. Last but not least, speaking of dry skin, I basically saved the best for last. So these are the Holler & Glow Sock Masks. So my best friend, Ashley, put me on to these a few months ago, actually, like back in the summer, we did them together and I don't know how I ever lived without these. So you just put them on as if it was a sock and you let them sit for about 60 to 90 minutes. I recommend maybe watching a movie or one of your favorite shows. And then after that, you just rinse your feet, pat them dry, wait a few days and your feet will peel, like actual peeling, like big, pieces of skin. Like when you get sunburn and your skin peels, that's how your feet are going to look. Disgusting, but very satisfying. It really works. And then once you remove and pick that skin away, I recommend going in with a foot filer towards like the end of your feet peeling because they're going to peel for a few days. The first couple days, the pieces of skin will be very big. And then like the last couple days after maybe like three, four days, the pieces of skin are going to be very flaky. So I recommend getting a foot filer and just taking your foot over a trash can, of course, and just filing your foot to get rid of all of that dead skin. And once that dead skin is removed, your feet are gonna be so soft. It just reveals like another layer of skin and it's so incredibly soft like a baby's butt. And I'm telling you, your entire foot is going to peel. Your toes, the bottom of your feet, your heels, everything. And this is only $4. I recently tried a foot mask like this from Amazon that was more expensive. And honestly, I feel like it's not as good. Like this one is so much better and it's cheaper, so definitely check it out. You can get it at Target. I talked about this in a Chit Chat Get Ready With Me, but I had to mention it again because I feel like this time of year is the time of year where we need to pamper ourselves. Don't forget about yourself. Recharge. Give yourself even like 20, 30 minutes for me time, like you time. You know, it's essential, especially during this time of year where life is so crazy. Don't forget about yourself. So doing something as simple as like a little foot mask or something like that, it can make a big difference, you know? So don't forget about yourself. Recharge and do a foot mask. So that is it for my current favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other amazing products that you've been loving, whether that's makeup, skincare, random shows, whatever the case may be, please leave them down below in the comments. I would love to hear from you. I hope you guys are all doing well. Sending you all a big virtual hug. Let's bring it in for a hug. Remember, don't forget about yourself. Have some me time this weekend, even just like 30 minutes. Just take some time for yourself. We all deserve a little bit of me time. So thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Bye.